So what are some easy ways to learn fractions? Hi, I'm Jimmy. I've been teaching college math for nine years, and we're here to explore some ways that you can use to learn fractions in a fairly straightforward fashion. Now, the more areas that you use that you can relate to, or your students can relate to, the better. Pick scenarios in which they would probably use in everyday life, and we'll just take it from there. Now, one topic that you might want to use to help them learn fractions a little bit easier is you can always use money. Think of a dollar bill as one whole, and then introduce the various coins that we have, whether it be nickels, quarters, dimes, etc., as ways to express fractions. So, for example, we know a quarter, which is 25 cents, is a quarter of a dollar, or one fourth. A dime, which is 10 cents, is 10 out of 100, or one tenth. A nickel is 5 cents, 5 out of 100, and a penny, one out of a hundred, and so on and so forth. And you can mix it up, the different coins in various ways, and that'll be a nice practical way to learn fractions. Another example is you can use food. You can take pizzas, cakes, split them up into halves, quarters, eighths, and then have them play around with the different pieces. And if they get a problem right, you might have them eat the different pieces. But that's always a pretty good thing for them to do. And they can see fractions in a fairly straightforward fashion that way. Just think about whatever foods you want, and then think about the different ways you can divide them so that you can create fractions instantly. And finally, a third basic approach is to use basic geometric shapes. We're talking about things like circles, squares, rectangles, etc. And then that way, you can take the shapes and then divide them into various proportions. So for example, if you have a rectangle, you can break it up into two pieces and say that each rectangle represents half. Or you can take a rectangle and break it up into four equal pieces, and so each rectangle represents one-fourth of it. Or if you like, you can even extend it to eight sixteenths, whatever in your intentions are and how deep you want to explore fractions. So I'm Jimmy, and there are some easy ways to learn fractions.